Greetings and welcome to our Wednesday offering this week of our weekly devotionals. This week we're looking at a passage in uh, the second letter to Timothy, chapter 1. I remember a few years ago we did a book study here at our church on, on something called the Emergent Church Movement, the Emerging Church Movement. This is something that was popular maybe about 10, 15 years ago. Um, and it was a sort of a way of, a, a newfangled way of thinking about church and uh, the sort of leaders or founders of this movement uh, said that, you know, in the church every 500 years or so there's a great rummage sale in the church where everything sort of overhauled and made new um, uh, the Protestant Reformation 500 years ago, 500 years before that, the, the splitting of the Orthodox and Catholic churches, 500 years before that, the sort of the founding of the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Um, so every 500 years or so, something completely new happens. But as far as I could tell, uh, the, the biggest uh, characteristics of the emergent church movement were not really something new, but sort of hearkening back to the earliest models of Christian life. Uh, you know, less institutionalized religion, meeting in small groups, meeting in people's homes, sort of getting back to the, the very basics uh, of, of the earliest Christian communities. And that seems to me what, what, the, uh, what the emergent church was really about, getting back to the roots. And, and, and getting back to our roots is, is I think, uh, something important in the church and, and something that Paul uh, felt uh, was important in his letter to Timothy. Uh, he wants to make clear that this newfangled Christian movement, this Jesus movement within Judaism, um, actually had had deeper roots in that, and, and actually had roots uh, in in the Jewish faith and in in Paul's ancestors, as he writes uh, to Timothy. Uh, I am reminded of your sincere faith, a faith that lived first in your grandmother Lois and your, your mother Eunice, and now I am sure lives in you. And he says, I, I, I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did when I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. It's important for Paul, um, especially in the Roman environment in which he and Timothy sort of operated. The, the Romans... Uh, sort of had high disregard for anything newfangled, but had a respect for ancient religious traditions. And so it's important for Paul to anchor uh, his faith and uh, the faith in the gospel um, as, as an ancient tradition. You know, in the church, I think sometimes we, we, we strive to do new things, of course, and, um, and there's always some, some new book on how to do church better than we've done previously. Certainly in our society at large, there's a desire and a craving for the next brand new shiny thing that we can own or have. And uh, I think in terms of our faith, it's important to to sort of remember our roots and, and certainly thinking about those earliest Christ Christian communities, uh, I think... Uh, it's a good thing for us. Uh, we live in an age sort of of entitlement. And, uh, you know, we, we, we always uh, are looking for the church to kind of give us something. And uh, it's sort of good to hearken back to the roots of those earliest Christian communities who, who did have to really persist and had a lot of challenges. And, and uh, that might be uh, actually a good thing for us uh, in our day and age as well. Holy God, help us to, to always see your presence and to see something new each and every day, but to remember the traditions, the roots from which we grow out of, and to, to remember the, the hardships and the challenges of the earliest Christian communities, and as they persisted, so may we as well. Amen.